Hi guys, uh, this is Abel Bascuñana from Maltoluk Games and I want to show you a little bit of, well, some of the tools that we are using right now uh, to make uh, the Dark Triad Akasal's Quest. Uh, you may have, you may be following us uh, via like Steam or through Facebook or Twitter. So we'll keep posting these updates like regularly, so you can check uh, what's our like uh, progress, and you can answer. Uh, you can like tell us what you think about it, and any doubt that we can uh, help you solve. Uh, will do and so I hope that you enjoyed the video so now let's go to to show you how uh, we do to import the models that we buy or make uh, from 3d max or Maya or whatever like exporting FP X or X is the format for the XNA like um, libraries uh, these are like Microsoft libraries that are also used to to develop for Xbox 360, that's why we'll port our game also to the the 360 after we finish the version for for the PC. So now uh, I want to show you the model viewer. So let me run it, and here it is. Let me clear the results. Uh, you'll see that. Uh, the first thing that we must do is like searching for the model. So for that, we'll click this button, go to desktop, and then we'll get this one called villagers. That is exactly where it is. Ah, it disappeared or what? Uh, wait a second. Okay, it's models. This one. Models and then the villagers. Then we click OK and you'll see uh, a big list of the different like items. And as you see, when we click on them, uh, we cannot see anything. The first thing that we must do is like selecting one of them and then right clicking and then build models. So then the model will be like red and then we can see the visual representation of the model on this uh, right side of the screen. It will take a while but it should be ready in like uh, four or five seconds, I hope. It seems it takes a little bit more but it shouldn't be that much, I would say. Okay, let me close this one just in case. Okay, here we go. So here you can see like this pigeon. Pretty cool model. More than enough. Maybe you you can think that the model is not like very detailed or it has uh, it ha doesn't have like many polygons, but for our game it's I think it's more than enough because uh, you must take into account that it's like an isometric perspective and it will be a kind of view like like from the from the top down almost and maybe you will be able to zoom in and out uh, you won't be able to zoom in so close of the model to see like all these uh, imperfections or because yeah it's not s uh, smooth but I think it it, wor it will work pretty well. Also, we will change the textures. Like Rafater, our graphic artist will like modify the textures, so it will look much better. So now let's go to the interesting stuff. Uh, here you see like many different models that are flying. <laughs> uh, this won't be like this in the game, but at the moment is how it is here. But let's see. We'll click on handle archetypes for this model. And then if we open the asset then here you can file for ex we can find for example like the material profiles and this is pretty interest interesting because one of the things that we can do is for example changing like the textures for the let's see for example uh, the bear the bear the body 
let's see for example with this one now what we are doing when we click these buttons is like basically loading these textures so then we can later apply it to the model okay so for example now what we should do is going going for example to one part of the body we'll take for example the body what we can do here is like for example you see now <laughs> this villager doesn't have any body <laughs> uh, we could even animate him but we'll do it later uh, let's go to change the material for example for the body it's here so now what we'll do is like yeah sorry <laughs> if we don't put the <laughs> if we don't see the body <laughs> it will be difficult to see the changes so now we can check for example this one as you see it has changed now yeah this is pretty ugly i mean it's like it's it looks like a bit corrupted this one is okay no so we have many more so with only one model we can make like many variations not only because of we can change the textures but also because as you saw we can hide some parts of the 3d model for example we can like remove the the bird so now you have this guy without a bird also even we can remove the hair so it would be like me like completely bald headed and for example i don't know <laughs> well the head of course <laughs> this would be like sleepy hollow so uh, now i'll show you like a cool thing and this is the animations for the model the the first thing that we must do like is clicking on add clips okay and then we select the animations and here you can see like like the different anim animations for the model so this is the tip post it would be the one is idle like the walk the walk one so you can see here and also there are walk back like Moonwalker, Michael Jackson, like rest in peace is pretty walk right, walk left and also we have run uh, what else, we have jump for example uh, roll left, uh, I don't know if the pillars here will if we will make him like roll <laughs> left or right, it would be cool for example when, when if the pillars here or uh, when he's like drinking in the inn and he's pretty drunk he would be like these weird things also without the the the, the tools and the bag and the and the boot on uh, the boot locks and all that stuff so it has even attack well the the cool thing what we, we should do for example in this case like is like uh, removing all this stuff so it will be easier for us to for example now it's much better ah maybe the axe and also the cudgel so well this would be much better this with the hammer but anyways as you can see he can even like <laughs> uh, spell cast i don't know maybe it's like somebody that has been converted by the, the dark triad followers so who knows the good thing is that we have like uh, plenty of animations to to choose from like he's working this would be cool like for a for a smith then like sickle work so we would change the tool obviously but as you can see like he's carrying some back or logs or whatever so this is pretty cool so I mean all the villagers will have like uh, plenty of animations so uh, the wall will seem like more alive and this is pretty important uh, when talking about an RPG of course there are many more things that we must do but but at least uh, we'll try that all the models like uh, are like believable and also will 
have some cool and uh, funny dialogues uh, also serious ones of course because there are many topics that we want to cover on the game but as you see now what we would do is um, we would go to prototypes the first thing that we must do like is adding our own pr prototype to import it uh, on our engine okay so the first thing what we do let me stop this the first thing that we will do is like creating a prototype for example piece and anim uh, we can put like uh, smith for example smith and we'll uh, put the name of the village uh, we'll say like Elrond so now we'll say this is an actor he's a male he's we would say like neutral because if if the players attack him he'll try to attack the players I suppose so he's not an em enemy an enemy directly so and he's an NPC also then you later see why we uh, add these tags to the model then it will be easier to find it when we load the models on our engine and then we can race we put human faction we'll say he's from the white triad at the moment so it's okay we have the name we have the tags so the thing that we'll do will be adding the model and as you can see here we've added the prototype okay the next thing that we would do would be like exporting the model and then choosing the the folder where we want to like uh, upload the model or save the files this would be in a, in a folder where we have all the models and then we would build and export I won't do this at the moment because we already have the models and then I would overwrite all the stuff so it's not pretty <laughs> not pretty wise so as you can see this is the process that we use to like import our models in the game on the next update uh, I'll show you the model already in our on our uh, game editor and you'll see how uh, we do uh, the maps how we uh, put all the 3d assets and all the stuff okay hope you have enjoyed uh, this video and any question you have you can write us on the on our forums or on our steam green light uh, site or or even on twitter or on facebook okay so uh, see you next time thanks very much Merci.